So I'm obsessed with pastel ball pythons. <laughs> What's up YouTube, it's Baker. Welcome back to Blue Line Morphs, guys. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell, give me a thumbs up. Definitely comment down below. We're a new ball python breeding channel. I'm a reptile enthusiast. Made the transition over to ball python breeder. This is a new channel, man. We're slowly moving along, completely and totally transparent. Bringing along the journey. The highs, the lows, the goods, the bads. I'm telling you like it is. I have an Instagram channel, blue underscore line underscore morphs, and a Facebook page, Blue Line Morphs. Definitely check me out on there. Definitely hit me up on there, guys. All right. So we're turning back to the channel. Welcome back, guys. It's Friday, right? Well, by the way, post every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Saturday. Might be changing. See what happens. But welcome back to the channel, guys. It's Friday, man. I'm going into the weekend. Was going to do my Uber Eats tonight, but I'm exhausted, man. Long, long week. Just going to hang out. Uh, let me watch the Yankee game. Hopefully they can take game five. We'll move on and see the Astros in the championship series. We'll see what happens. Either way, yeah, I'm starting watching sports again slowly. We'll see what happens. Let's not push it. But either way, guys, it's going to be a nice, enjoyable weekend. Keep in mind, Sunday, I'm heading out to uh, PA, pick up that powerhouse girl. So definitely stay tuned for that. I think tonight, Claire from Reduces uh, Layers is going to stop by, pick up a snake that I owe her, one of the head pie girls from Big Mama. So maybe do an interview with her about how her first season went. Actually, that's, that's exactly what I want to do. And that's probably what Saturday's video is going to be about. Other than that, guys, no real update, man. Cleaned everything out yesterday. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that. All new substrate. Yeah, I wanted to get it done right in time to start really pairing everything up. I don't necessarily know if that was a good thing because kind of come from the pheromones and the scents got taken out. We'll see what happens. Got that one lock. We're going to start pairing up again tonight. Um, let's get right into the video. So this video, guys, is going to be about pastel ball pythons. So first and foremost, I have a lot of pastel in my collection. Some of them I chose, some of them I didn't. So if you follow my Instagram, you know that I'm constantly making a joke with Red Light Python, Porter Python, and Racer Reptiles. Check all them out on Instagram about how I'm always getting pastel, super pastel, etc., etc. It's kind of like an ongoing joke where I little click there. But realistically, guys, it kind of happened by mistake. I'm not going to lie. I did, I did pick up a few pastels of my own. But before I get into the actual story, so what I'm going to do today, guys, this video, I'm going to show off, listen, if you want to see some cool snakes, that's all I'm doing today, man. I'm going to show off a normal compared to a pastel, show you a pastel female, a pastel male, then I'm going to show you a spider, then I'm going to show you what happens when you introduce pastel into the spider, and show a couple other snakes off that have pastel in them. That's all we're doing today, man. Just all about the pastel gene. I get my balls broken enough about it, I figured I might as well show off some of my pastel. I'm also going to show you like a killer clown that's relatively young. Compared to a normal clown, and then we're going to switch over and show that killer clown older and killer clown younger to see how it kind of keeps that that yellowness and that, that brightness. Anyway, so the ongoing joke with the group essentially is I have everything I have has pastel on it. So if I, if I inquire about a snake, it's like, oh, fake. It doesn't have pastel on it though, right? So what happened is, realistically, guys, a lot of you guys have been hitting me up and hooked me up, right? We got Anthony hooking me up with snakes. I got my old teacher hooking me up with snakes. I got Big Ed from Jersey hooking me up with snakes. And it just so happened that every single time that I get either these good deals on snakes or I come across breed-ready females from trusted individuals, they have pastel on them, right? Both the two clowns that I got, I got from Big Ed are both killer clowns, super pastel. I literally got a big giant pastel from Anthony. I got a bumblebee from Anthony, which is a spider pastel. And of course, uh, what else did I get recently? Uh, my, my, my pied poise got pastel on them. The het pied powerhouse got pastel on it. The pastel etchy pies got pastel on it. So I think why not make a video dedicated to it? Why not, right? So let's do this first. Let's show off a normal. That's what we'll do. We'll show off a normal and we'll put it next to a pastel. So this is Big Mama. Oh, she's actually just fresh out of shed like two days ago, so she's looking good. She's my big normal. If you guys follow me on Instagram, follow me on YouTube, which I hope you guys do because we're here now. Um, you know her. You know exactly who this is. This is my giant normal girl. Now this girl is a very aggressive eater in here. So I'm going to try to pull her out. I probably should have pulled her out first. Let me use this. Alright, so let's pull these girls out. Alrighty. This is my big normal girl, okay? This is big mama right here. She's huge, right? She's probably sitting at about just under 4,000 grams. Here's that big pastel girl that I got from uh, Oak. She's about 
23, 2400 grams. Let's put them together, guys. Now, really not that big of a difference, right? You really can't tell all that much of a difference. If you look closely, she's a little more vibrant, right? She's got some of this blushing here on the black spots. Then the big difference I always notice is the head, right? Check out Big Mama's head. Black, eyes are, or eyes are, watch yourself. Black, eyes are dark. Then you got the big pastel girl. Check her out, right? The eyes are a little more green. Really gorgeous. Look at the two different heads on them, okay? You can kind of see it there. Look at the necks. Look at the heads. This is the big pastel girl. This is the normal girl. Kind of just lightens it up, right? Makes it look a little better. It's got some of that blushing in it. I love pastel. Let me put these away, these big girls away. So that's just a normal compared to a pastel, guys. All right, not that much of a difference. But if you look closely, you can kind of see a little more blushing, right? The big difference is on the heads and the eyes. Only when it comes to pastel and normal. But then once you start adding jeans in there, you'll see some different lightning in the pattern. We'll see in a second. So let me show you. Let's do this now. My big spider girl is going to try to bite me. Okay. This is my big old normal spider. You guys have seen her. She's actually the first lock of the season. Single jean spider girl. Let me show you what we do. Oh, no, not a normal. Let me show you what we do when we introduce pastel with the spider jean. Which I absolutely love this girl. This is where you start seeing. Now, when I showed you that normal and I showed you that pastel girl, really not that much of a difference, right guys? Right, so if you're new to like ball pythons, you're new to like some jeans talking about pastel, look at our normal, look at our pastel. If you're new to the game, like I'm brand new to the game, I might overlook it. Now I know there's a couple key differences you can really tell, but check this out. You got a big spider girl, right? Regular spider. Now you compare the normal to the pastel, not that much of a difference. Spider, let's add in the pastel now, right? Look how much different they look. Look how gorgeous this girl is. Look at her eyes. You see her? Right? Look how... Look how green those eyes are, look how yellowish and flushed out the head is compared to this big normal girl right here, right? I mean, this big spider girl right here. Kind of interesting how you take the regular spider, add pastel into it, and how they look drastically, drastically, sorry, I'm not looking at you guys, I'm looking at the camera trying to fix this. They look drastically, drastically different. Isn't that cool? I really like pastel for that reason. I really like this bumblebee girl. Let's move on. Let's keep this thing moving. All right. So now, if I get no, let's check out. What do I want to do next, guys? Let me show you. Let's do this. Let's transition like this. Check this out. This is the clown girl, right? This is Harlem. This is a normal clown. Nothing crazy about her. I think she's a really good example of a clown. But let me show you a killer clown now. Now this girl's got Enchi and Blade in her, so obviously the dorsal's a little more broken up. But let's check out the yellowing, man. Now this girl's a little more aggressive also, so hopefully I don't get tagged. Nope. We're good. All right. So here's my normal girl, my normal clown girl, right? We all know what the clowns look like with the head pattern and the dorsal. Now check out the super pastel version, okay? Now disregard the, the, the dorsal being all broken up with the Enchi and the Blade. But look at the color difference, right? The nice browns here, a little lighter tans. Then you switch over here. Now, she's a super version, so she carries two copies of that pastel jean. That's why she's so bright and vibrant. But look what pastel does to the clown, man. I love killer clowns. That's why I got three of them. There's going to be four of them. But check this out, man. Look what pastel does to the clown. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, disregard that dorsal pattern. But look how nice that is. Look at the difference in the snakes. Regular clown girl. Yeah, some pastel in there. Nice, bright yellow snake. Absolutely gorgeous. Put her back in here. Actually, we're gonna keep her out for a second. No, oh, you gotta go back in there. Now let's check this out. Now a lot of a lot of you guys know that certain jeans and colors will fade over time, right? One thing I've noticed about pastel, it does blush out as they get older, but I want to show you something. Now this is obviously I'm working with super pastel here, but here's my uh, I guess you say not stub adult. I guess Juvenile, she's a killer pastel and she, Blade Clown, killer pastel. She is a super pastel killer, god damn. She is a killer super pastel and she, Blade Clown, okay? Look how yellow she is, look at that pattern. Now this is also a killer clown, this got leopard in it. And this girl, I would say she's an adult, right? She's 1,500 grams, 1,600 grams, about four years old. Jesus, 
She's trying to bite me. Look who yellow that girl is. And as they get older, still pretty bright, right? She held her colors really, really nice, guys, that super pastel. Everyone says it kind of gets blushed out. Now, yes, yes, it does completely get a little blushed out, right? You look here, look how dark this and vibrant this is compared to her. But for the most part, man, you have to be happy how this super pastel kind of held its color, right? Absolutely gorgeous snake. Look at a little spider from the leopard gene, right? The killer leopard clown girl. Then you got the killer entry blade clown girl over here. One's about six months old. One's about four years old. Overall, a little more yellow. It held the color a decent amount, right? That's pretty cool. Let's show off some other snakes, shall we? Slide her back in there. Let go off. Watch your head. All right. I'll fix her. Let's get ready to poop the thing. I tell you, every time I clean all my tubs out, within a day or so, they, they poop everywhere. Let's keep this thing moving, man. All right. So, let me show off. Let's do this. Ready? Wrong tub. I got to get some more labels made. I'm always just grabbing the wrong stuff. All right, this is a big old normal pie girl, okay? Now, for the most part, man, normal pies don't look like your normal ball python. The coloring, at least, maybe a little lighter with the pie G on top of it, obviously. Check this out. This is my stuck and shed. This is my, now, the pattern, of course, is because of the Enchi, but the color is from the pastel. Check this out, okay? Normal pie girl, right? Kind of just looks like a normal ball python. Add the white in there. Everyone loves pie bold. Now that's Enchi, right? The pattern, obviously, is because Enchi guys are low white because Enchi, right? There's the white, the pie bulb. But check it out, the difference that the pastel does. Now, she might be a super. Comment down below. Somebody was telling me that she can look stuck in shed as usual. She doesn't shed good, man. I'm telling you. The humidity's good, Mistin. Might have, to, might have to soak her later. Anyway, comment down below. A couple people have seen her. They definitely think she might be super pastel. That's, that's the last thing I need is another super pastel snake. But look at the difference a pastel makes, guys, right? Your normal pied girl, and she uh, pastel pied. Look at the difference in color, man. Pastel does a lot of good things. I know pastel is probably one of the older genes, and people don't like to work with it. They kind of get try to get out of projects. I'm going to try to get out of my clown project for the most part because if you guys look, I do have three super pastel girls and one more on the way. But I absolutely love pastel, man. Take a look at this girl right here. This is my orange dream yellow belly pastel spider. 100% head puzzle girl. Again, look at the yellowing, man. Look at the eyes. Absolutely. You see the eyes? Maybe. Get a little head out, honey. There you go. Again, my worst eater, guys. I ate a couple days ago, which was nice. But again, pastel is really, really nice, man. You got you know, get the white from the spider. But why? That's the camera. It's not even a heat signature. But look at the. the Okay, enough for you. Look what the pastel does though, man. It really makes a snake really vibrant and nice. I know a lot of guys, like my buddy Rob from Racer Reptiles, he likes darker jeans. I like the lighter jeans. It kind of is what it is. And of course, you know, we got my Aussie boy right here. He's the orange dream, yellow belly, pastel, fire leopard pied male. And again, the pastel just kind of brightens everything up, especially when you get that orange dream yellow belly in there. The pastel really makes it nice. He's getting thick, huh, guys? I haven't weighed him in like a week. Let me see what he weighs. We're trying to get him ready for the season, so we'll see what happens. We're at 390 grams. I think he, ha he has got a meal in him from three or four days ago. So I don't think it's a true 390 grams, so I'm thinking he's probably around 350. Um... Could not be happier with that, right? But definitely on track with that guy. You have any more pastel? Oh, check this out, ready? I showed you guys, I showed you guys the pastel girl, right? I'll grab her again, what the hell? Hope she don't bite me. Nope. Add it again. Boop, little boop, there you go. Turn around. Come here, check this out. So here's that, really? Really, honey? This is that pig. Here's that big pastel girl again, right? Now check this out. This other girl's pastel also, but she got lesser in it, right? Check out the difference, right? I think pastel and lesser really go together really nice. Another bright, vibrant, nice snake. Um, pastel on its own, it's cool, it's cute, makes your snake a little lighter. Nothing crazy, but check it. You add one gene in it, right? Like I showed you the spider, the bumblebee before, and it really enhances everything, makes everything really nice. I'm a big fan of pastel. It's an ongoing joke. But it's also kind of true. It kind of is what it is. But anyway, guys, quick little video, rant video. Just want to show off some pastel snakes. I got more in here too, I think. 
I definitely have more pastel in there. I'm not going to go through the entire collection, but here's my big pastel girl. She's probably going to go that coral glow, black pastel, trick Mojave male. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Show off some pastel snakes. I like pastel. Go screw yourself, Mike. Go screw yourself, Poor. Go screw yourself, Rob. I'm enjoying my pastel collection. Just all pastels across the board. You guys can have the dark jeans. But hope you got to help some of you newer guys. I'm a newer guy to try to differentiate between um, kind of what pastel does to different snakes and how it holds up over time. Quick, short video, guys. Hope you enjoy it. Listen, as always, be safe. Please remember, watch your six.